Hello everyone, welcome to our YouTube channel and today we are learning chemical techniques to develop latent fingerprint. Right? So we are done with physical methods. We are done with physical method of fingerprint development. Okay. So physical method is all done. Physical methods. Now we are starting second method that is chemical techniques and chemical methods. Chemical methods of fingerprint development. Fingerprint development. Okay. So and then after that we will cover different elimination and fluorescent techniques to develop fingerprint. So what comes under chemical technique? Okay, so before starting the lecture, few things you have to do. You have to subscribe our YouTube channel. You have to follow us on Telegram. You have to follow us on Instagram. And if you need any help, WhatsApp support number is there in the description box. And we have our very first official forensic app. Okay, so in this app, you have unique courses like Net Forensic Science, like Soko Forensic Science, everything is there in the app. So don't forget to uh, install the app and avail the courses you want. Okay, so this, this was the reminder and now that we can start the class. So chemical techniques. So chemical techniques involve some specific chemicals to develop fingerprints on different surfaces. Latent fingerprints may also be left at using chemical methods. So we can apply chemicals, we can use chemical methods to develop and lift the fingerprint. Chemical refers to the use of liquid solutions in visualizing prints that are very difficult to develop using physical methods such as powders. So if we are unable to develop fingerprint with different methods like with different physical methods, then we can refer or we prefer chemical methods. So in chemical methods, we can use different liquid solutions to, uh, to, visual to, to visualize to make fingerprint visible to uh, to make to develop a fingerprint with the help of chemicals if the fingerprint is really very really hard to be developed using powder methods and using physical methods then we go to chemical methods so chemical methods mein hum bahut sari chemicals use kar sakte hain to develop the fingerprint hum chemical method kab use karte hain jab koi physical method hum use nahi kar pa rahe hote hain ya fir hum use karte hain to usse acche result hame nahi milte इसलिए हम केमिकल मेथड यूज करते हैं हम केमिकल मेथड प्रेफर करते हैं केमिकल मेथड में हम कई सारे केमिकल लिक्विड केमिकल स्प्रे कर सकते हैं या अप्लाई कर सकते हैं फिंगरप्रिंट से फिंगरप्रिंट पे ताकि वो हम डेवलप कर सके केमिकल लिफ्टिंग यूजुअली एम्प्लॉयज द यूज ऑफ स्पेसिफिक रिएजेंट्स सो केमिकल मेथड स्पेसिफिक रिएजेंट्स ही अप्लाई करता है राइट right? जो केमिकल मेथड्स हैं उसमें हम स्पेसिफिक केमिकल रिएजेंट्स ही यूज करते हैं एंड राइजेस टू डेवलप द एनालाइज लेटेंट प्रिंट एंड ये केमिकल रिएक्शन फिर उस लेटेंट फिंगरप्रिंट को डेवलप करने के लिए काम करते हैं ठीक है हम केमिकल लिफ्टिंग भी कर सकते हैं केमिकल अप्लाई करने के बाद जैसे ही फिंगरप्रिंट विजिबल हुआ हम उसे टेप लिफ्टिंग के थ्रू या फिंगरप्रिंट लिफ्टिंग के थ्रू लिफ्ट करके सिक्योर कर सकते हैं सेव कर सकते हैं वन मेथड इज आयोडीन आयोडीन फ्यूमिंग बहुत ही कॉमन मेथड है बहुत ही ईजी मेथड है आयोडीन फ्यूमिंग आयोडीन फ्यूमिंग मेथड इट्स रियली वेरी कॉमन एंड ईजी ये केमिकल टेक्नीस के अंदर आता है इट इंटरक्ट विद रिच कम्पोनेंट्स सो ये रिच कम्पोनेंट्स से इंटरक्ट करता है लिविंग अ डर्टी ब्राउन कलर अपियरेंस इट मेक्स द फिंगर प्रिंट लुक ब्राउन इन कलर ऑन नॉन पोर सर्फेस सो वी कैन अप्लाई आयोडीन फ्यूमिंग मेथड ऑन नॉन पोर सर्फेस surfaces this method may also leave a yellow stain with grease or oils on a porous surface so if we can even apply this technique on porous surface but non porous surface may it gives best results okay so non porous surfaces gives best result in our green fuming but we can again develop fingerprint on porous surfaces it creates yellowish stain or greasy oils uh, kind of um, texture in porous surface Latent fingerprint developed with iodine fumes are not stable and must be photographed immediately because these these fingerprints developed fingerprints are not stable. Okay, so it just develops and it just uh, uh vanish away. Okay, so it develops and it vanish away. So that's why it is really very really important and necessary to photograph that immediately. Right, that's why. just after developing that we have to photograph it 
if the fingerprint is developed we have to click a photograph if the fingerprint is disappeared we can again apply the iodine fumes to develop the fingerprint again okay so it reappears when we apply the iodine fumes again so it develops fingerprint like this so we can develop fingerprint in papers and on porous surface we can we can develop fingerprint on non porous surface and porous surface non porous surface and porous surface right so what is the procedure of this test so iodine crystal fuming method so we have iodine crystals place iodine crystal in a ceramic or glass dish so we have to place ceramic uh, we have to place iodine crystal on a ceramic in glass, glass dish place the specimen to be processed with a fuming chamber so we have to put the uh, specimen in the fuming chamber and then we have to apply heat as soon as it gets in contact with heat crystal are crystals will convert into fumes so from a solid pack uh, crystals it directly converts into fumes okay sublimation happens so after that we can remove the specimen from the chamber when sufficient development has occurred so we have to check if the fingerprint is developed or not if it if, if it is developed we can remove our specimen and we have to photograph it okay iodine we can even spray iodine reagent okay without just using simple pellets and heating that pellets to evaporation we can even spray the iodine reagent when spraying iodine spray reagent the finest mist possible is the most effective method of application so we have to use a fine mist of liquid iodine spray if the spray is heavy it will overlap the area being processed processed if your spray is really very heavy it will overlap the area that's why we need to keep it really very fine an artist type air brush is used effective in the process so we can even use artist type air brush to increase the surface contact a circulation procedure may be used by having a small fan in the chamber so we can have a small fan in the chamber we can increase the surface contact with the help of this small fan in the chamber okay so these are few important points related to iodine spray okay so what are some sp uh, special chemical solutions so we have few special chemical solutions what are those special solutions okay so special solution is small particle reagent that is spr spr technique spr chemical technique of fingerprint development development okay so this reagent used for processing latent fingerprints on items that are wet and recovered so if the item or the object is wet and then it is recovered so on that surface how we can develop the fingerprint it is the most often used where powder are ineffective so if the powder method is ineffective we can use special solutions to develop fingerprint this reagent also works effectively on items that have been soaked in liquid colorants so our our spr method is again works effectively on the items that have been soaked in liquid acylarins okay this technique requires a large work area that will be subject to messy conditions so we we require a large working area large area the developed rich details may be lifted after being photographed so first we have to photograph the details and then we, we can lift the developed fingerprint with 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 you like with the help of which we have developed with the help of special solutions right so these are your chemical techniques with the help of chemical techniques how we can develop and how we can enhance the fingerprint and we can record and analyze the fingerprint okay so in the next class we will cover illumination and combination methods to develop fingerprint and this is our last method of development and enhancement of fingerprint fine so i hope this chemical method and iodine crystal fuming method is all clear for you 
And if you are having any doubts, any question, any query, you can put your doubts, question and query in the comment section. I will address them. And don't forget us to follow on Instagram, on Telegram and don't forget to be a part of our YouTube family. So have a great, great day ahead. If you have any special topics to request, if you need any um, lecture videos on those topics, please request it down in the comment box. We will try to make videos on those topics. And don't forget to download our app. Yeah, so see you in the next lecture. Have a great, great day ahead. Till then, study well. Bye.